Hello. This video uh, I'm making today is dedicated to the campers out there and uh, van dwellers and uh, generally people that live off grid. Um, I see a lot of people uh, on YouTube, on the internet, that they're, they're using renewable energy, which is great, but I see them using uh, the um, inverters. And uh, I want to let you folks know that using those inverters, you're wasting a lot of the energy that you're able to produce during the day, which in the case of campers and especially van dwellers, uh, you need to be able to utilize every single joule of energy that you create uh, if you're using the uh, solar panels or wind turbines. And uh, so anyway, here's a little trick I put together today. I was thinking about you guys, and uh, I plan on uh, doing a little van dwelling myself here in the near future. Um, what this is, is these are little solar garden lamps, okay? And you can see it's got a little on-off switch, got the little LED there. And I bought a whole bunch of these. Um, I got them at Menards, which is a home improvement center. If... Uh, if it's the end of season and you folks got a, uh, a Menards around, go to their lighting section in the far back and you'll find these solar garden lights are on sale for about 88 cents a piece. Okay? Now, it doesn't take uh, a rocket scientist to figure out that that's, that's one heck of a deal. 88 cents, you can't even buy the rechargeable AAA battery that's in that for 88 cents retail anywhere. Uh, let alone the LED, the circuit, and the solar cell. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, um, I got thinking about this the other day when watching some of the uh, videos for van dwellers and uh, campers and that, RVers, and again, you know, you need to be efficient at what you are using. And these here give off quite a bit of light. Now what I've done is I've just taken the top off um, these come right off the tops just screw off there and you can see it's got like a little globe thing there well we, we don't need that we just got rid of that okay and what I've done is uh, opposite the on off switch I drilled a hole right through the casing a little tiny hole okay and I found a package of these suction cups and they're basically used for oh well, like like a plate some people hang plates on the wall uh, on the windows and stuff like that for decoration um, and mirrors sometimes they'll they'll hook them up on a mirror okay and I got a whole package of these there's 50 of them and I got those for a dollar actually it was a dollar uh, what dollar seven with tax seven cents tax so a dollar seven you got 50 of them okay now what I did is, is I put that that little hole in the top there and of course it's got the hook on the bottom okay and that will stick right against a window with the solar cell facing the outside of the window okay so it'll still charge all day long the nice part about it is it will come on automatically when the sun goes down and then uh, of course, it'll it'll shut off when the sun comes back up to recharge the internal cell. That's really really cheap. I mean, you can't get much cheaper than that. And these LEDs now, if I can get this on camera or not, LEDs are very directional, which most of you know. They they generally only shine one direction. What I've done is I've taken my Dremel, or you could use really anything, but just I cut the top off so that it's it doesn't have that rounded edge anymore okay and then I took a piece of sandpaper and just lightly sanded around the edges of it just to take that shine off there so it's so it's dull okay now what that's gonna do is that got rid of the directional part of the LED so this will now shine light you know 360 degrees well in a an RV a camper or a van if you're van dwelling uh, you stick this on your window, 
any window and that will be more than enough light to be able to see around uh, you won't be you won't stumble on anything because you couldn't see in the dark and extremely cheap renewable um, the only thing that I would suggest is they come with pretty crummy batteries but again even the crummy batteries are expensive but if you could maybe put these here came with um, 300 milliamp batteries in them which you know they're all right they might last I don't know four and a half five hours or so but ultimately you want to put a, a higher amp hour battery in it and uh, and then it should run you know eight to ten hours minimum and uh, and of course like I said they, they come on automatically and you can have as many of these as you want you can do this you can put one on each window hell you can fill the whole window with them if you want um, and again, that whole bag of 50 suction cups with the little uh, nub there on the bottom, you can see for hanging, 50 of them was a dollar, a dollar seven with tax. Okay, and these are on sale end of year at Menards, 88 cents. Now that's ridiculously cheap light right there. Um, another idea is if you have a large window. Uh, you can take a piece of plexiglass, like seen here. This is a scrap piece that I had laying around. And you could actually glue these like this. Okay, and then line them up or make a pattern, however you want to do it. But, you know, put them on there. They can be any size. It can be any thickness. Okay. And then take a couple of these, put a hole through there or a, like a wire or something to hang it with and hang a couple of these in the window and then they'll all turn on at the exact same time uh, or pretty darn close every night after the sun goes down and of course you know a lot of times you won't need a lot of light especially in a camper or a van or something along those lines you won't need a lot of light but you'll need you know you'll need enough to be able to see by maybe to uh, get around and I don't know, maybe you're reading a book or something. This is enough light for that. I mean, you could read a book, buy it, and that. Well, that that means you don't have to uh, use up all the energy that's in your battery bank. And, uh, and again, if you have an inverter and you're using an inverter, I would suggest you only use an inverter if you absolutely have no other choice. Um, no matter what inverter it is, you always take a major hit, a major loss in your energy when you convert from DC to AC and then back down to DC again. You take a major, major hit. And that, that's just physics, folks. That's just how, how it works. So to eliminate that, um, everything should be 12 volts. Uh, 12 volts or lower, I guess for simplicity, it, it should just all be 12 volts. But... Um, again, this type of thing is ridiculously cheap. It's cheap, light, um, reliable. It'll come on every night, go off every morning. And, of course, it's got an on-off switch, so if you don't need it, just click the button, switch it off, and then you're good to go for, you know, another night. But, uh, but anyway, I'll be uh, posting some more tips, and, um, and uh, maybe I'll be doing some tutorials on um, doing some cheap solar uh, solar panel uh, videos and maybe some wind turbines. I've been building wind turbines and custom building solar panels for years. So actually, before they were even popular. So um, so anyway, give something like this a try, and uh, I'm sure that you will find that uh, it's it's absolutely one of the most reliable lighting you can get. Um, stick with LED anything LED stick with that because it is it'll provide you with plenty of light and uh, even the compact fluorescents aren't aren't anywhere near as efficient as these LEDs these LEDs use so little energy it's it's amazing it really is um, so anyway that's uh, that's it for now and um, uh, I'll be posting some more on the title down below there, uh, voltstimesamps.com. And uh, that's a blog for renewable energy and electronic stuff um, for people on the go and that. So anyway, uh, voltstimesamps.com. 
it's posted down there give it give it a give me a shout over there and uh, post some comments here and uh, and good luck to you and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching